Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and we're gonna be doing a little modifications to one of these uh, little electric uh, kids, like Power Wheel, Peg Perolta type vehicles. This one's a Hyper Toy. Uh, we got this from my grandson a couple of years ago, and if you've had any of these, no matter what the brand is, they work for a little while, and then they kind of start slowing down, slow down, and I've modified a few different ones, and I'll go through some of the other ways I've modified, but I'm trying a little different technique uh, with this one. So, gonna kind of show you what, uh, kind of how I do it. One of the things that I do with them, um, uh, first off the bat, and it's a little dark in here, hopefully you can see it, but the back wheels, they get to where they basically have no traction unless they're on pavement. So I take mountain bike tires that I buy at like Walmart, Amazon, uh, just wherever I can find them cheap, and I cut them to the wheel. This one's kind of got a little bit of mud on it because they've been running around, but I put it around the wheel and I just take wood screws and attach it on, and that gives those tractions. They can drive pretty much anywhere a four-wheeler, ATV, can go on the farm. They can cross creeks. They can, uh, you know, pretty much go anywhere with the traction on these if they've got the power. Now this one had issues with it with power. And so I'm going to show you what I did with it. I'll pop the hood off. And I ordered this off of Amazon and I'll put a link down in the comments for this video. But basically it's just a little 3D printed connector it fits on my Ryobi battery, and this is a 12 volt. It's going to switch it to 18 volt uh, from what I've seen. It really doesn't hurt it at all, and so I I went to the uh, the connectors that came with it, and I just put some little connectors where I can hook it straight into there. Pop it on. You got an on-off toggle switch here. You would turn it on. And then you would turn it on at the vehicle. There's a little power switch for it as well. Also, the thing I like about this, with using drill batteries, you can see how much power you got in there before they get on. So it's not like they hop on and uh, it's got three minutes of power and then it dies and then the kid's, you know, all upset about it. But uh, we're going to, we've got my test pilot, my grandson coming over here in uh, just a little bit. And we're going to test it out, see how long. The ones I've done in the past, I've used uh, riding lawnmower batteries, the ones that are like 25 bucks at the, at the box stores, Walmart, Rural King, wherever you get them at. And uh, they're cheap. They last, uh, they last about a year or so. But the nice thing about them, when I first started doing it with some of the others, they uh, basically they would run the entire weekend and would give them enough power that with the uh, bicycle tires I put on the back, they would just basically go anywhere, and the kids loved it. Like I said, they're starting to slow down. I don't know if the kids are getting bigger, if it's just the batteries are wearing down. I put a new battery in one, and it was still kind of slow, didn't have what it needed. So that's why I figured I'd try this Ryobi uh, drill battery and uh, just kind of see how that works. So... Like I said, I'm waiting for my co-pilot to get here. As soon as he does, uh, we'll film him uh, taking this for a little bit of a ride. And if it works, I'm going to permanently mount this thing in here, take the old battery out, and a little dusty, probably clean it up a little bit. But uh, for the time being, while I'm experimenting, I didn't want to didn't want to do any extra until I make sure this is going to work. So stay tuned, and uh, let's see how it goes. Buddy, take it around the yard and see how it does, okay? Is there a, is that a two speed button on that? Or is it just forward and reverse? I think it's forward and reverse. Brett, hey, drive over here, buddy. Well, apparently it is a success.
<laughs> All right, well, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and that's uh, I'll put a link to the connector I use for my Ryobi and also for Milwaukee and Craftsman. I'll put some links to some other power tools that you can use. If you like this video, please consider leaving us a like, comment, or subscribe to our channel. It helps it grow and it's always appreciated. Till next time, have a great day.